examples of what I want to talk about. And I'm getting the impression that you can't really see it that well in this video, so stay tuned. Hey everybody. Um, Hey everybody, welcome back to Holt Growers. I'm your host, Timothy Holt, and this is clearly not my backyard. It is in what's going to be the post-production and storage area of the basement. Um, we currently are still working on it, as you can see behind me, with the pink wall. Um, trying to mitigate the water. We still have the floor, as you can see uh, right down here. Um, and two more exterior walls to take care of on the inside. On the outside, we're addressing that water issue as well with some drainage, rain collection, things of that nature, landscaping. Um, all of that seems to be working pretty well, but we've had substantially wetter than normal um, spring and summer. So, on to today's subject, uh, cucumbers. Cucumbers. So, there's different varieties of cucumbers. You can get the little tiny ones, you can get the real big fat ones, um, but generally speaking, they're green. And I knew, I had heard of a variety that was yellow and I didn't know exactly what I planted. So um, just an FYI, if you're going to plant some crops, write down what you plant and where you plant it. That way you don't have this confusion like I had this past week. Um, I harvested almost 40 cucumbers over the weekend from about five, six plants. Um, so this is by far the best cucumbers have ever done for me. Um, I'm very happy about that. I personally like cucumbers. Most of my family likes cucumbers. So uh, it's a good thing. I have quite a few people who are wanting to buy them. But the problem is um, a, quite, a fair amount of them were really big and they were yellow. So uh, a friend of mine at church mentioned looking into that and see if they were any good because I've never had a yellow cucumber. So I did, and come to find out, they turn yellow and get really bloated when they're overripe. They're still edible, but they're really bitter. So just an FYI for you, if you're going to plant cucumbers, keep an eye on them. Make sure you harvest them um, frequently and don't let them get yellow. Um, so the variety I have, I have a couple here. They can be as small as this. This is still ripe, still edible. Um, and they can get as big as this. So as you can see, they're definitely a dark green color. They look nice. Um, they are tasty. This is what I harvested out today. So I think it was Saturday that I took out those other cucumbers. Might have been Monday. Uh, and then today I harvested about 10, 12, um, ones that were yellow, overripe. I end up feeding them to the birds, um, throwing them in the compost and with the chickens. These, I've got a, not quite a dozen here, two, four, six, eight, nine, nine good ones here. Um, either they'll get eaten by my family or they'll get sold. But just to show you what I'm talking about with those overripe ones, this mini fridge behind me is temporary. There's going to be a walk-in cooler down here since we get the water taken care of. Um, so the mini fridge is a temporary makeshift solution. It's not really working very well because it's not very big, uh, but it, it works. So right now there's just cucumbers in there and that is what I'm talking about right there. Um, hopefully you can see that pretty well. You can see how it's a light green turning yellow. It's way over ripe. Um, it's stiff. It, it, it doesn't have the same feel. It's missing the bumps that are typical of cucumber. Um, this is what I harvested earlier in the week. There's another one that's clearly turned yellow, clearly over ripe. Um, there's another one that's definitely over ripe. So all of these are going to get pitched. Um, now that I know that, about every two to three days, I'm going to be out checking the uh, cucumbers, trying to get um, fresh cucumbers before they get overripe. That's going to help the cucumber plant produce more cucumbers. It's going to signal to the cucumber plant 
to continue to produce fruit, which is what we want. And it's going to give us a good harvest. Clearly, um, that is a much better looking cucumber than what I just showed you. So that's what I have on cucumbers. Cucumbers take a little while to um, germinate and to grow, to bear fruit, but they're definitely worth it. They're tasty. I personally like mine with either a, a, a dill dip, or ranch, or even just plain. So uh, I'd have to look at the chart, but I think it's about 75, 80 days to um, maturity on a cucumber plant. You can plant them mid-spring, uh, mid late spring, after risk of frost, uh, like right after risk of frost, you can plant them. They need relatively warm soil, and then they need water. Um, so that's maybe one reason why they're doing so well this year. The melons that I planted on a fluke as well are doing well. Maybe next week or the week after, I'll get you a video on those because they're doing really well as also. So this increase in rain is probably helping them. So thank you for watching. I hope you got something out of this. As always, get out, grow some today. May God bless you. Uh, I just remembered also, if you like this channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications because apparently the subscribe button doesn't mean anything anymore. Um, Hit the thumbs up. If you think I'm just blowing smoke out of my rear, go ahead and hit that thumbs down. Tell me in the comments either way. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, get out and grow some today. There's quite a bit of work yet. Now on to, uh, well, yeah. Hey everybody, let's see how that